Sit back and relax, watch this great matchup. The finals of the Ledyard Classic between Maine and Dartmouth. Maine is an aggressive four-checking team, and again, these teams, you don't see the same scoring from the lower lines, but there it is. A quick goal from Reed Pavich. Goal even offside. Okay, oh, it's okay. an offside review. Here come the lines, but now. All right, here's the initial entrance into the zone. Maybe that's what they're looking at. And I can't really tell overall. Goal is wiped out. All so right. Swept away, and look out. Might be something here for Trudeau, who's got good wheels. Trudeau fights off a check, and John Fusco got the stick in at the last minute to prevent the scoring chance. Yeah, well done by the seventh round draft pick of the Toronto Maple Leafs there, doing a good job of getting back without taking a penalty. Here he comes for a shot and a save by Victor Osman, flaring out that left pad, and big check over in the corner by Reed Pabbage, who was probably a little bit upset. He had a goal taken away as that bouncing shot saved by Osman. That skipped in front was not an easy save. Ian Pierce for the big green, can't clear it, bounces to Nadeau, there's a man open in front, saved by Black! Lake State, Hanover Mass native checks, kind of a surprising start as Nakora goes cross eyes. Flinton tried to kip that to Hames, it's loose in the crease, Osman has it underneath. Fifth season recruited under the late Red Gendron. Here's Foley in, a backhand save by Osman, he got the waffle board over. Good job keeping the puck away from the Black Bears in this first period, and again, the potent lines turned it over to Friel. McRae broke him up as well. McRae's stick went flying. Here's Hool with it. Two on one. Hool shoots. Saved by Black, and he covers up the rebound. Maybe a chance now. Two on one developing. Fuario has McDonald. He shoots. Osman took a look around, but he made the save. They'll get the clear. That'll pretty much do it for the period. And we won't have any goals in the first 20. Team, but I didn't expect them to be this good. Sharpened tier. Held the puck a little too long. Couldn't pull the trigger. Antonacci chopped it off his stick. There we go, the Black Bears. Lyndon Breen, the NB line out there. Three New Brunswick players. Breen to Brazil, a shot blocked by Stephen Townley with a glove. Brazil over the blue line. The big green chop it away from him. Ryan Sorkin overskated it. Plays it into the offensive zone anyway, but he was dispossessed quickly by Harrison Scott. Ben Barr was just screaming at one of the referees, thinking David Brazil was tripped down. Shot by Sorkin and a save made. Chabrier opened the scoring for Maine last night. He's got the puck now, a centering feed. Hool in, shoot, save, rebound, score! Harrison Scott scores again. He burned RIT yesterday and he opens the scoring for Maine tonight. Harrison Scott scored on a tricky backhand yesterday against RIT. This one not quite as tricky. Great leverage on that. Here's Pierce with good speed. Pierce into the offensive zone, a backhand shot caught the outside of the pipe. Really no room to squeeze that in. Now back the other way, here's Nemo, a backhand and a save by Black. Green, they beat Trudeau on the draw, but don't clear. Pass save as Green pulled the trigger. They'll work it down low again, centering feed, knocked out of there, almost came right back out. Scott would have been waiting for that, he's got it now. Donovan Hool. A one-timer coming, save, main rebound, and Scott misfired. Scott, back to Holt again. Power play for the Black Bears. Scott shoots, rebounds free for a moment. Green behind the goal. On the half wall to Thomas Friel. Great passing, shot, and Black somehow saved that. McDonald's, he's in, he shoots, and he rang it off the post. Still free, jammed in, they score! Fuario might have gotten the last touch. Hold on, though. Yeah, Maine thinks there's a hand pass yep. here. This is probably going to get reviewed. Great move by McDonald to get himself Great. free. And Osman, a tremendous save. There's the touch. There's the next touch. Oh, it was off the hand? Yeah. It wasn't even a hand. Off and yeah. look at this, and now they say no goal. I, I think, think they got this right. I do, too. Looking for his teammate to pass to. Pierce, a one-timer, Fusco and a kick save. Pass for about 10 seconds. Fusco has Musa the trailer, it's intercepted. Look out, here come the Black Bears. Lyndon Breen, he's got a man with him in Pavich. Pavich shoots, score! The power play had expired, the Black Bears on the counterattack, and they double their lead. For the offside, Lyndon Breen, it's a two on one. Josh Nadeau just out of the box, makes it a three on one. Great pass to find Pabich, and he buries it. That's his first of the season. First period, couldn't score, and now the Black Bears back. Scholey 
Nice move, he scores! <laughs> Sully Scholey putting on a show. Upstairs, a beautiful shot, and Scholey has his second. What a shot by Sully Scholey. He's improved so much as the season has gone on. The Black Bears may have found another really good freshman in this guy. Townley won it back, that'll kill the rest of the time. But damage done for the visitors, the main Black Bears score three times in the second period. In overtime, out in Anaheim, California, three to two. I was watching that game in Belmont, New Hampshire as the Black Bears come close to a fourth one. Fusco into the offensive zone. Chabrier took it away from him. Nice long pass, Scholey in for his second goal, he scores! A brace for Sully Scholey, his first two goal game. And Maine extends their lead. It's two minutes of periods, they're very important times. Brandon Chabrier, a pass through basically three zones yep. to send Scholey in alone. Josh, Josh on the backhand. Forced out wide to Antonacci. Cross ice, halt a shot and he blazed it wide. Significantly from last year and I expect the same thing. Not the long run, but a continuous improvement on the season. Fusco shoots, that never got through. He four out of five in fact, as Providence also won in 2018. Hockey East fans can celebrate that as that came through to Vuario, kicked in front and Flinton scores. Now the big green ruined the shutout anyway, as Cooper Flinton takes a pinballing puck and scores again. He had a goal last night, and his point streak continues to four games. And, uh, it ended up coming off the board because it was batted in with a hand. This one is not coming back. Yeah, that just pinballed. Flinton's not gonna miss from the Fond Arena. They came from behind two separate times and Oops. took the lead with five minutes to go. Great save off of Freel from Cooper Black. John Fusco at his own blue line. Picks up for Dartmouth. Knocked down by Josh Nadeau. Nadeau breaks into the offensive zone. Breen in front, a backhand score! Lyndon Breen off the feed from Josh Nadeau, and the Black Bears regain their four goal advantage. Of the third period, Josh Nadeau sets up Lyndon Breen here. Breen, great backhand move to stick that between the legs of Black. Won't be tonight, as the horn's about to sound, the main Black Bears can celebrate the Ledyard Championship. They've won it for the first time. 5-1 the final score.